You know, for years, I lived thinking God was mad at me. God wasn't mad at me. That was just something that, that I'd allowed the devil and religion to put into my head to keep me away from God. Oh, and I thank God today that, that I know he loves me and he cares for me. and He's for me, not against me. My prayers for you come out of, out of today comes out of Ephesians 1.15. It says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope that he has given to those he called, his holy people, who is his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believed him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. He is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through, the, through his spirit. The, then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through His mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we ask or think. Glory to Him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Those are my prayers for each and every person that walks the face of this earth, including myself, that the eyes of our understanding would be opened to God's love and His mercy and His grace and His desire, His desire for us to know the truth. The truth, and that is His Word. Glory to His name. Now let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide and direct me. Holy Spirit, use my mind, use my mouth. Guide me and direct me in everything that's said and done here today, that I might glorify the Father, oh, my God, and my Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, guide me. Use me. Help me to be the light. Oh, the light that I should be in this world. Touch each and every person that listens to this podcast. Guide and direct in our lives. Use us for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be taking my scriptures today out of 1 John 1 and 9. You know, I said, I've said before and said it earlier. For years, I thought God was mad at me. I thought that I just, just to be honest, I never really felt, felt like that I ever pleased God. The only time that I really thought that, that God was halfway pleased with me it was when I was ministering under the, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And then I felt like I was doing something positive. 
But as far as my life was concerned, I just didn't feel like that I, I ever, you know, made him happy. And that was a, that was a hindrance to me, but it wasn't him. It wasn't him. Had nothing to do with him. It had to do with me. And that was it. I had made, I've said it before, I, you know, we need to, we need to quit trying to make God human because he's not human. And I had made him human and was trying to please him the way I tried to please the people around me. And, and, and it would just, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. God is, oh, he's so much easier to please than man. Far easier to please than man will ever be. I want you to know that. And that's the reason I'm, I'm going to read this, this scripture today. It comes out of 1 John 1 and 9. Said it, it, if first, the ninth verse of the uh, 1 John 1 says, But if we confess our sins... He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, that's a simple scripture, and you say, well, yeah, I believe that. But really, do you? Do you really believe that? I had a lady tell me the other day, she said, you know, I pray and I ask God to forgive me of my sins and and." But I know her. I know. I know her very well, and and uh, I know that she don't feel like he does. Why? Because she's made God human. She's made God that unpleasable human being that that most people are a lot of times. You know, people are finicky. And if it's at their if it's at their convenience and they're good to forgive you, yes, they will. But I've seen so many many people, you know, forgive people and and say it's all it's all right, don't worry about it, and go on down the road. And ten years later, they get mad at them and they and they never forgave them because it comes right back up, and it's. It's horrible. It's horrible. And we make God that way. And I don't want you to ever in, in your life think that God is that way. You know, this scripture, 1 John, is written to the church, to Christians. And uh, I'm probably speaking to uh, Christian people. But you can, you know, if you're lost today, you can take this same verse, and he's he's faithful. You know, it says he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Being faithful means you can count on him too, and that, that thrills me to know that. But I feel like today is is a day that I need to concentrate on you know, telling you that and letting you know that you can count on God's forgiveness and he'll never bring it up again. God's not human. The Bible says that God is love and God is light. And I don't care what anybody says or disagrees. God told me, uh, I'd say it's a year or two ago now, he said, son, I love the abortion doctor as much as I love the babies they're killing. Now, I want you to know something. <laughs> That's a love that, <laughs> that surpasses all understanding. I don't understand that. Why? Because I'm still in this flesh. But glory to God, one of these days I will understand it. But if you want to experience that love, you want to experience what I'm talking about, God will forgive. Oh, he will. How, ask, ask me how I know. I felt so condemned and, and just forsaken 
like I was just some someone that God didn't even want to look at. You just go away. You're an embarrassment to me. That's not God. That is not God. The Bible says if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And when people don't forgive you, don't think one thing about it. Ask their forgiveness and go on about your business. Don't ever make God human because he's not. This whole thing, this whole thing that I preach about and teach you about on this podcast, it's spiritual. God wants you to know that. He, you're, you're born again, inner man, that spirit man is, is just waiting on you to renew your mind like the Bible talks about. When you renew your mind, you can, you can relate and allow that, that, that uh, spirit man to direct your path. How? Through the Holy Spirit directing your spiritual man. Let the Holy Spirit work through you. And he can direct your path. And those old fleshly desires and the things that, the sin that so easily besets you won't be hard to overcome anymore. Why? Because you're living in him. In him. And looking at him and, and, and dealing with the things of your life in the way that he wants you to. Because he knows there's victory there. There's victory for you. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you for all, to, for all, from all unrighteousness. Don't ever forget that. Don't run away from God. Run to God. You know, when I, when I read something, my wife read something to me she found on the Internet. and I'm going to see if I can find it right quick. It's worth reading. It's a, it was a blessing to me. She read it to me. I said, send me that. That's, that's, that's just unreal how that's just some little something can come up. And it's, it's, it's just writing. It's like cursive handwriting. And it's a photo. And it says, it says religion. I messed up. My dad is going to kill me. Now listen to this now. Gospel, and then it's got another title, Gospel. I messed up. I need to call my dad. That's God. That's God. Don't run from God. Run to Him. That's God. When you mess up, call on the Heavenly Father. Call on Him. Confess it. Repent. You know what the definition to repent is? To turn from. Turn from that what you've done. And run to him. And just like in Luke 15, 11 through 24, he'll see you turn. That's when you've turned from, your, from your, your sin and your mistakes, he'll run to you. I promise you that. God loves you. Oh, he loves you. He wants to, oh, wrap his arms around you and love you. He wants to do that. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to be Lord of your life. Glory to his name. I just, I, I, I can't get over someone, someone that listens, that's listening to this podcast is struggling with that. They're struggling with, you know, I just can't see God forgiving me. God's not human. The, the, the love of God is far bigger than, than we, can, we can fathom. Uh, they, we get a touch of it. We can understand a little bit through salvation. 
But the love of God is something that you'll never fully understand the vastness of it until you see him face to face. And then you can come to understand that. And if you've, you know, you've heard this, heard me talking about the love of God and confessing your sins and, and, and this through this message and, and you've never been born again, today's the day. You can be born again. God will forgive you and bore you into the family of God. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Glory to his name. He'll forgive you. He'll save you. And he, he'll call you son or daughter. He wants to. Won't you give your heart and life to him today? Let Jesus Christ be Lord of your life. And don't ever, don't ever think that God won't forgive you. He will. God will forgive. Confess your sins. Repent and turn from them. And watch him, watch him do miracles in your life today. Hey, it's wonderful to know, oh, to know that God's love far outweighs anything that we've ever done in our lives. And his forgiveness is far bigger than any mistake that we've ever made. Glory to his name. If you're listening to this podcast, go to our website and get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigalson.com. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. We want to know what God's doing in your life. We want to know what, what you want God to do in your life. We want to pray for you. If you've got a need, send us an email. Let us know. We'll be glad to pray for you according to God's word. Hey, that's what we're here for, to minister to you. And, but most of all, to provoke you and to teach you to teach you, listen to this now, to teach you to believe God's word above all opinion about yourself, about, about who you are in Christ Jesus. Oh, if you can get that into your heart and your life, you can see your life change overnight. Oh, glory to his name. But you've got to get God's word into you. Got to get it in there. And wash all that doubt and fear and unbelief out. If you'll do that, God will bless you. God will touch you. God will strengthen you through his word and through his Holy Spirit guiding you through his word. Go to our website and let us know. It's the-prodigalson.com. <laughs>